guys, it's Taylor, and welcome back to another Holy Tale or Holy Grail Thursday's video. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. Well, it's technically a 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter, but yeah. First of all, if I'm rushing, just before we start the video, if I'm rushing, um, since we were on Target in like a couple minutes, um, so yeah, I'm trying to get this video done and over with. I, I could have just done my makeup earlier and just like, you know, like started this earlier, but I always like pro procrastinate because same. But, um, yeah, if you, if you just keep looking at my eyes, like, oh my god, that's so pretty, but like so wild. Um, I wanted to go a little bit outside the box today, uh-huh. So yeah, but I did a nude lip. I think it's really pretty. It's very like Elsa from Frozen, I don't know. But same look at that highlighter on that cheek you can't see it but like when i go like this you can see it but yeah <laughs> so let's just get into the video on this um so i got this in my latest cvs haul and i got this for 5.29 but on here it says or 79 at walgreens.com but i don't know i didn't see this at target so i don't know like if you can find it at Target, it'd probably be cheaper there because at CVS and like Walgreens and stuff, you're paying for the convenience. So yeah, but yeah, I got it for five twenty nine, which is still a really good deal. Um, honestly, I think this is like the only thing that I have from Rimmel in my collection, my makeup collection. I actually want, I want to get the Rimmel like, um, like what's the pressed powder that everybody uses that everybody likes, but yeah. So, my sh I got this in the shade Fair Slash Light Neutral, um, or in 240. Um, yeah, this is a really, this, um, shade is perfect on me. It's, I picked it out a good one. Yeah, so you just twist this open, and this will get dirty, because, you know, it just will. I don't really like things when things get, like, dirty in my makeup, but, um, oh well. Um, yeah, and it doesn't have, like, a doe foot applicator. It has kind of a, kind of reminds me of the, um, what it, um, the Kylie lip glosses, like, you know, just applicator of it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. They're just, like, little hairs. Um, and how you get the product out of this, because when you first open it, and it's, like, brand new, it's um white but what you have to do you have to push the bottle to get the product out and it will start and it'll come from the middle but you have to be careful because sometimes you squeeze too much out and it will come from the other end and you don't see it if you know what i mean and what i do i, I i'm actually not wearing this today i was going to review this but after i already reviewed my concealer i was like oh taylor but yeah you just i just put it in like a perfect triangle shape under my eyes i will swatch it to show you the color of it so yeah. Um, there it is. It's a really pretty color. If you think that, oh my god, that's way too light, but concealer should be, I think it's one to two shades lighter than your, like, skin tone, just so it kind of brightens up under your eyes. So yeah, and it's really easy to blend out. Um, it's really pretty. I didn't put enough on my hand, so yeah, FYI. It's really pretty. Attempt to draw a heart, do the same. Oh my god, I attempted to do a heart. Like, oh my god, like. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So there you go. And it's really easy to blend out with a, like, beauty blender. Or what I use, like, a beauty sponge, like the wedges, like the beauty wedges. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really pretty. It's matte of course um um and it has point um 23.3 ounces or seven milliliters which is i think it is a fair enough of i think that's good actually i always never want to like use up my products but um yeah i wait i just keep dropping it but yeah I think, like I said, I think it's a really good, um, 
concealer and I didn't even notice it but it has things what it's supposed to do like really tiny up here so I'll read them right now it says it's supposed to conceal signs of static fat you I don't know um highlight and it's supposed to highlight and illuminate eye area and soft precision brush for delicate under eye area yeah I agree with that I really like the brush actually um, I don't think, I don't think it makes a super difference in, like, a doe foot applicator, but I like it. It's cool. Um, I don't know how I feel about, like, squeezing it out. I feel like that kind of makes it, like, harder. And, like, if you get too much and you have to, like, even it out, you know what I mean? And you can't just put it back in there. You know what I mean? Like, you could with, like, a one that you, like, untwist the top and, you know, like, a doe foot applicator. Like. So that's one thing I don't like, but um, it applies really, it nicely it has a beautiful finish and that overall i really really like this um it's a really pretty yeah pretty but it's super super beautiful this is my favorite concealer now so yeah i really really um recommend this and overall i think this is a holy grail um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure you check out some of my other videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up you know like it comment share subscribe do all that good stuff and i will see you guys later bye